Number three then from paper one of the 2017 higher maths, just a little two mark question here. You're given this expression for y and you've to find the derivative. Well, you should recognise that straight away. It's a chain rule. It's a function of a function. There's an inner function and there's something happening to that. There's an outer function. And when you differentiate it, you do the outer function first. It's like working in. It's like the layers of an onion. You start with that power 12. Differentiating that, it'd be multiplied by the power. Take one off the power. Then you look inside. What was inside it? It was a 4x minus 1. But at that point there, for doing the outer function, you get the first mark. Now, you multiply that by the derivative of the inner function, which is a 4. Now, normally you'd expect you'd carry on and then simplify that. The same way as in question 2, you had to simplify the two numerical parts into a single constant term. You would expect to multiply those out to get 48. So 48 times 4x minus 1 to the power 11 is the answer. However, and you're not to know this, here, as soon as you say times 4, in other words, knowing to multiply by the inner derivative, all the marks are gone, so there's no marks left for the last part. But you can't assume that'll be the case. There's been plenty of times in the past when it's said the final marks for multiplying and simplifying the answer. In this case, however, you didn't need to go as far as this. You'd have got two marks if you left it as a 12 there and a 4 there. There's other wee quickie things would come out from that, the fact that the last mark ends there. That's the two marks, but again, you can't assume that's the case. If you then went on and made a mistake and said something like, oh, that's 16 times 4x minus 1 to the 11, which of course is completely wrong, you wouldn't be penalised because there were no more marks to be had. So there were no more marks to lose. Oh no, not lose. There'd be no more marks to fail to achieve. However, if you put that without any working, then you've got zero.